Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about wire sizes and 240 volt. So if you're wondering what size wire for 240 volt, stick around. Got a wire, uh... Okay, so the answer to what size wire for 240 volt is all size wires for 240 volt, believe it or not. Not just your regular heat X that you see uh, with your ground and your two conductors, um, which comes in 10 gauge, 12 gauge, uh, 14 gauge, 8 gauge. The lower the number of the gauge, the larger the size of the wire. Um, basically, all your NMDs come in in 300 volt and so they're they're minimum rated for 300 volt however 150 volts to ground but between the two 300 volts so 220 240 230 whatever you can throw at it even uh, the white NMD host wiring with the white and the black uh, is rated for 240 volt or sorry three 300 volt even some of your smaller wires for um, for communications, speaker wiring, all has a 300 volt rating on it, whether it be UL or CSA. So it doesn't come down to um, wire type, it comes down to wire size. So basically you need to determine the size wire you need for 240 volts. So for example, a, a baseboard electric heater would be uh, 12 or 10 gauge. As a welder would be 50 amp, that's gonna be six gauge which is quite a bit larger of a wire, which is rated for 240 volt or 300 volt. So again, it doesn't come down to, excuse me, it doesn't come down to wire type, it comes down to wire size. Having said that, um, it does come down to wire color. And that is more or less a code thing and an electrician code thing that we use 240 volt red and black. So we very rarely use 240 volt white and black. White and black is sort of the determination for us as 120 or 110 volt wiring. The white would be your neutral or identified conductor and the black would be your hot conductor. As opposed to the 240 volt wiring, uh, your black would be one hot and your red would be another hot, so you have 240 between the two. In a jam, we will tape the wire red on a white wire if we can't run a wire, but however, we do not like doing that. We try to stay away from it. Whenever we can run a red wire for 240 volts, uh, that's what we run. And that's just an industry standard. That's sort of the way it's been. Um, and if you're going to run your own wiring and you're going to run 240 volt, then we usually recommend to run the red. Because the minute that any electrician or any professional sees this red wire, they think, oh, okay, that's 240 volt. Um, it's not 120. So that's basically it. The wire size uh, is what's important. The wire type is not what's important because they're all pretty much rated for uh, 300 volt and up. Some are rated for 600 volt, 1000 volt. There's very few conductors that are rated for less than 300 volt. Even the low voltage stuff like doorbell wire, um, you'll still see that has 150 or 300 volt rating on it. Again, it really comes down to color. So I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so that's why I thought I'd make a short video on it. I uh, hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll put a link in the description down below so you can read from the article that I have attached to this. More on it. And there's a chart for wiring sizes. So that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.